Hey, what's up guys? Second Creeper over here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the charms of dislocation from Draconic Evolution. Now, these things are used for fast travel around the world, they're, and they're mainly used for teleporting. So, the, the, first, the first version is the charm of dislocation. So, this, uh, this thing only has 21 uses before it breaks, and it can only be bound to one location. Also, when you teleport using it, uh, you take uh, you take two points of damage, aka one heart. But uh, but uh, if you put it on a if you put it on, if you put it on a pedestal, if you put it on a dislocator pedestal from Draconic Evolution, wherever it is. Where was it? there? It is. If you put if you put it on he if you put it on a dislocator pedestal, then you can uh, you can go through. So, for example, uh, for example, let's say I wanted to bind this to my, uh, let's say I wanted to bind this to my, uh, to my arcane spa. Teleporter bound to there. It also, so it saves your, it saves your X, Y, and Z coordinates, the dimension you're in, and, and the rotation your character is in. So then you just right-click, right-click this on the pedestal, and then you can go right there. It won't, uh, it won't, uh, it won't get, uh, it won't get damaged when you use it on the pedestal. So um, so you can you can bind a location to a pedestal and then leave it there forever. So let's go into survival so that way I can. It also doesn't it also doesn't cause it uh, it also doesn't cause the uh, the uh, the heart of damage that it normally would. <clears throat> okay. And uh, hmm, let's see. Maybe I can get this off. Um, Yes. Shift right click on the dislocator pedestal to take and take the uh, charm dislocation off. All right. So the charm dislocation uh, to make it, you're going to need four draconium dust, four blaze powder, and an eye of ender. Draconium dust is found from draconium ore around the world, or from killing the ender dragon. Okay. So then there's the enhanced charm dislocation, which will allow you to save multiple locations uh, to teleport to. So if you go ahead and uh, shift right click, you can open this GUI. Uh, or GUI, however you want to say it. You can click Add New, Add a Name. So say like Testing Area. There we go. It's a. Then you can lock it to. You can lock it to keep uh, keep it from a uh, keep it from doing anything. And uh, note that this does need fuel, and uh, it will not it will not hurt you, or ca uh, or cause it will not hurt you or break at all. So making the enhanced charm dislocation is a must if you want to if you want to keep using this. So, uh, so this thing takes fuel in the form of ender pearls. So I have, I have 48 ender pearls in my inventory right now. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and click add fuel. One ender pearl equals one, uh, one speck of fuel. If you want to, if you want to add a, a full stack of ender pearls, hold shift while you're, uh, while you're clicking add fuel. Out of ender pearls. So it'll tell you when you're out of ender pearls. Oh, I'm not, I'm not actually. Yeah, so one ender pearl per one fuel. So and this thing sets my testing area right now. So let's set, uh, let's go ahead and set one for the arcane spa. Okay, add new arcane spa, and then lock it, and then uh, and then you can uh, you can right click to take uh, to take you back to your, uh, take you back to your destinations. And shift scroll wheel to uh, to change your change your destination. Here we go. Okay, so the enhanced charm dislocation. Uh, in order to craft it, you're going to need four draconium ingots, three ender pearls, a charm of dislocation, and a wyvern core. Wyvern cores are made with four draconium cores, another star, and four draconium ingots. Draconic cores are made from four draconium, one diamond, and four gold. Note that these uh, these all these recipes that I told you are not uh, consistent with uh, FTB Infinity Expert, so I do not know those recipes on the top of my head. Uh, I cannot tell you those right now. <clears throat> anyway, the also the dislocator pestle. To make it, you're going to need blaze powder, two stone slabs, a piece of stone of any color, and a stone pressure plate. All right, so. You uh, you can also you can also put your you can also put your enhanced charm dislocation on here and uh, you can also put your advanced charm dislocation on here to uh, to uh, to bring you back to bring you back to a point but it's not, it's not exactly uh, not exactly that needed considering considering you can just considering you can just shift uh, shift right uh, considering you just like hold it in your inventory and not get damaged at all from it 
No, you can also you can also uh, you can also teleport player. Uh, you can also teleport other players by holding sh eh, by having them hold shift, you hold shift, and then you press left click. And uh, let's see, is, are, is there any other any other eh, any other things that you need to know about this? Yeah, see, it looks like you can store up to hundred locations. You can uh, you can uh, you can teleport between dimensions, which is really helpful. Yeah, uh, so uh, you can also teleport mobs, but mobs can't be teleported across dimensions. So you can't get zombie pigmen from the Nether to the Overworld with uh, with this. All right, guys, I think that'll do it for this mod Minecraft tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the enhanced. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the charm of dislocation. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel, as it helps me out so very much. Also, if you guys want to see more tutorials in the future, tell me what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or or message me on Google Plus with a uh, with a block that you want me to cover. Note, um, mention me uh, motion, mention me in the post, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Later.